into a, a stoppage win. Santana, a record of 7 0 with two knockouts. Hernandez, four wins, no losses, two draws, and one knockout on his resume. This one is scheduled for six. And we are set for round number one Santana versus Hernandez. start here first 30 seconds good left hand counter by Hernandez I think uh, Santana taking a look and seeing what he's got in front of him it's twice now Hernandez has found him on a short left counter shot in there from Santana. Santana 24, Hernandez 25, two young men. Toe to toe here, first round. Neither have tasted defeat as a professional, so somebody's O has got to go in theory. Nice left hook to the body from Santana there. He took a look for about a minute and now he stepped things up a little bit. And right uppercut. And a nice left to the body as well. Under a minute to go here, round one. No huge shots landed yet, but some solid ones from really each fighter. They both have had moments for sure. That that jab is something that I think is going to be very important for Santana throughout this fight. Body work on occasion by Santana three or four times he's landed to the body. Interesting too is his right hand is starting to pick off that counter left that scored a couple of times for Hernandez early on. Good first round. We'll uh, drop in here for a moment on each corner. Hear the advice that's being shared. Let's just concentrate after these attacks for reset the milfo. After these attacks, if it's something that's coming, an opportunity to counter attack. Non, on peut se faire, ça va, le corps, ça s'en vient, là, ça s'en vient. Tu, tu vises un petit peu trop sa tête au début, il penche toujours. Exact, il, il bouge beaucoup sa tête, de, du même côté tout le temps comme ça, hein. Tout le temps, il Sa tête s'en va de ce côté-là, bang, cette droite foot là ou cette upper cut là OK? The young trainer Vincent Doclero, I believe, is, uh, has got a big reputation in, in these parts. I know Mark speaks very highly of him. Very much so. He uh, had a lot to say about him as a, a future star in the manager sector of Canadian boxing, coach sector. Moments away from the start of round number two, Luis Santana of Canada, Jonathan Hernandez of Mexico. Sometimes it's uh, you, you see a fighter and you can go out and you do your thing, but you don't 
lights up the arena. You do, you've got the win, but it's how you leave people. People want to see you more, and that's an opportunity for Santana. We talked about the Santana jab. It's starting to score with a bit of regularity here, snapping that head back a couple of times. Good counter there by Hernandez, coming an uppercut from him. Santana. Another shot to the body from Santana, digging that left in. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see as the fight goes on if that slows Hernandez down and he starts to get tired from those. the one minute mark left here in round number two this one getting a bit busier yeah, Hernandez is, is, is having his moments but largely we see Santana doing the, the, the better work the cleaner work jabs time ticking down here in round two there's the bell that's the second round scheduled for six yeah we were told that it's uh, an opportunity for Santana maybe if he can if he can impress that he could step up a level has been effective for Santana. Yeah, he's throwing some good body shots in this, this fight so far. First minute of the fight, he was a, he just took a look at Hernandez, and then from there, he's he's found his rhythm a little more. A little like when we saw Leila, his rhythm and his, you know, his, his jab are very important to him. Round three of six now, Santana and Hernandez from Shawinigan, brought to you by Eye of the Tiger. And this is one of their young Tigers looking to make an impression. You see our French colleague, Matt Passavant, has this split right now. There's that left to the body again from Santana. Santana using the jab to keep his opponent outside and then just trying to get inside and make it a fight. Good right hand in there. We 
Abu Santana fighting fire with fire, but sometimes you have to stand your ground and you can't let the other guy do too much. You have to. These are two fighters who, to this point in their respective careers, have yet to really demonstrate knockout power. Mm. So you get the sense nobody's really being hurt by these shots yes. right now. But you know, and we, we see that uh, Santana's got a bit of blood around his mouth there. Technically, you can see Santana is the better man, but Hernandez is not going lightly. He's unbeaten, so you would expect him to come and, and try and win it, and he's certainly in there at the moment. Huge scoring blows through three. No, nobody's been hurt as yet. No. Santana with the attempt to get through those gloves that are being held up high by Hernandez. Bell goes to signify the end of round three. I wonder if he has uh, that extra gear to separate first himself. First verse, you see that you se lève. When you se lève like that, you lance a jab. You have to lance a second attack. You have to lance a second attack. Is it good? At the moment, he has done well. He has lost a lot. You have to let him recover. Let him recover. Do not do mal. Continue après. Tu vois qu'il se vient grand. Capitalise sur ses erreurs. Capitalise sur ses erreurs. Second half of the fight set to begin round four of six. This one has the feeling like it will go the distance. It, yes, it does. Sweat starting to fly now on these inside exchanges. That makes the blows look like they're more. There's that body shot again from Santana. It's been key for him this evening. The left of the body's been solid. Close fight, though, through three. Yes. That body again as he digs it downstairs. Caught many of them on the on the gloves there. He did nicely. Santana thrown with some force uppercuts. Hernandez backing Santana into the ropes now. Yeah, he's fight, seems to be fighting here off the ropes again. I'd like to see him try to gain the center of the ring and use it from there rather than be dictated to and be on the ropes. Just, just. 
especially as you feel that is Hernandez's game. Santana introduced this sport at the age of 13 by his older brother and his good friend Stephen Butler, who we're going to see a, a little bit later here on this card. D -d doesn't have Stephen's power, but he's certainly uh, he's a good little boxer. Ends with a bit of a brawl moment there in the corner. Round four in the books. This one's up for grabs as we head to the final two. Yeah, no, I think so. I, I do be, I do believe the Santana is the, the more technically proficient fighter. But... There's the sequence there where you saw the, yeah. the gloves of Santana picking off those punches. Yeah, he's letting the, the shots flow a bit there. I'd like to see him stay off the ropes, though. I definitely don't want to see him doing that in the last couple of rounds. But that's exactly where Hernandez needs him to be. If he can do that, that gives him a heck of a shot because he can't get away from them. All right, set for round number five. You asked for an opponent that would push him a bit more, not be so defensive. This has definitely been that. Two best punches from Santana is definitely the jab and then the, and the hook to the body. Santana spins out and tries to score off of that quick little break. Footwork to get in and out there from Santana. Two minutes gone, round five. Nice two-punch two combination then. In. Steps away. And... Left to the head from Santana. You figure the fighter that can win these last two rounds decisively gets the fight. It's that yes. sort of closeness to it. But now you see Santana looking like he's dictating the pace, and that's key for him. Just here to end round five. Going toe to toe. 
nice little flurry of action here in this fight was the closing 10 seconds there in round five. I like what I saw from Santana. He looked, as he closed the round, he looked like he kind of separated himself from Hernandez in that round. Even when he was moving backwards and he was against the ropes, he was able to roll with it, pick his shots. He just looked more comfortable. Okay. Okay. Looked more natural and kind of relaxed in the way he, he went about his business in that round. Here it is, sixth and final round. Santana, a record of 7 0. Against Hernandez, had four wins, no losses, two draws. As you mentioned, Anson, somebody loses the zero tonight and will register a first career loss. Hernandez come out strong, as you'd expect him to, because you you'd figure he's probably behind. And... Good shot there, the right hand, I think, from uh, Santana. Right hand lead from Hernandez scores. Hernandez trying to force some action here. Score late. Yeah, he's definitely brought a bit more intensity to this final round. Right, left, right from Santana. Now having to hold this guy back. Half a minute to go here, round number six. Both fighters still plenty fresh here. Yeah, Hernandez has definitely done a lot more in this round than the previous round. Takes a right and a left and back, scores with a right of his own. Santana answers. Good left hand from Santana. Appreciated by the crowd there. And a good scrap here. Yes. Very evenly matched, Luis Santana. And his opponent, Jonathan Hernandez of Mexico. Both fighters, as we say, undefeated. That will change for one shortly as we go to the cards. Potentially a good learning curve for Santana. He dealt with the pressure. Um, wasn't too much, but he dealt with it. And it was clear early on, Anson, that neither guy was going to hurt the other guy, which was interesting. So they both could open up with some abandon here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they both took shots, but it was, nobody was hurt throughout the, uh, the six rounds. 
and Hernandez didn't go quietly. It was it was it was good matchmaking because it gave. We, we saw last time out where the opponent was really defensive, and Santana, who's more of a counter puncher, had to deal with that and look for openings. Whereas tonight, the openings came to him, and he was able to. He looked better doing that. I just wonder if he has another gear to go in. Quite interested to see how this one is scored. How did you, did you get a feel for it? I kind of felt it like maybe four rounds to two. Yeah, I was going to say that. Four to two, yep. I think rounds two and four, perhaps, to Hernandez yes. and, and the rest of the fight to Santana. I wonder if that was enough to graduate to eight round level. All part of the process here. We will go into the ring now and to the public address announcer for the results from the judges. Mesdames et messieurs, après un combat de six rounds, nous nous dirigeons vers la carte de pointage. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Les juges remettent une carte de 654. All three judges scored this bout 60-54 for votre vainqueur par décision unanime for your winner by unanimous decision, Luis Santana. So Luis Santana moves to 8-0 with a unanimous decision victory over Jonathan Hernandez of Mexico. It wasn't easy, but we both think he did enough. Yes.